Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. All right, Shalom. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring. The house of David, the elect, that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers, and shalom to the elect. I'm back with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit of the Rakakwadash. And once again, all roads and all directions lead us to the MOTB, which is the Karagma. This is another news and prophecy concerning the inevitable destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America, according to the Holy Scriptures. All right. And we're going to continue to pay attention to the transition that's going on. All right. The transition going into a digital society. As you see here, this is from USA Today. This came out yesterday, September 6, 2024. The headline, it reads, it says, are we moving toward a cashless checklist society? And the answer is yes. Oh, it's it's been at least a month. I can't even remember. I actually use cash a lot. Maybe like three weeks ago. According to a Federal Reserve report released in May, consumers in America are using less and less cash. Those who are younger than 55 used cash for just 10% of the payments last year. And for the first time in the report's history, cash was not the most used option for smaller value payments of $25 or less. Combined with these findings is a growing trend that more and more businesses decide to no longer accept cash. But why? Well, it might not be obvious, but accepting cash could be laborious and sometimes even risky for businesses. Compared to cash, card transactions are generally more efficient. Think about the time you fumbled in front of a cashier just trying to find the exact amount to pay. Business dealing with cash also face the risks of employee theft, counterfeit bills, and even robbery. Not to mention the frequent hassle of counting the money and bringing it all together to banks just to deposit it. On the other hand, we might have some problems if society goes cashless. I have multiple cards. But think about if you happen to lose your wallet, happen to lose your most important call, then what? That's yeah, she said, then what? This is the solution. You know, you lose your, your debit cards, you lose your wallet and all of that. You know, this is the solution. This is where society is headed. The, 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 the MOTB, everything is going to be tied to that. The keys, ID, wallet, your, your, uh, your medical records, your identification, you know, everything about you, your biometrics is all going to be tied to that. Okay, so that's the solution. I have multiple cards, but think about if you happen to lose your wallet, happen to lose your most important call, then what? That's true, and going cashless also disproportionately affects service industry workers, such as valets and waiters, whose income largely relies on cash tips. Um, I think for some individuals where it's, they don't have access to a bank account, or for whatever reasons they aren't able to like create an account and like, get a card, then that would like, create difficulties. There you go, All right? Are we moving toward a cashless, checklist society? All right. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16, and it reads, it says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. All right. That Greek word is karagma. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. That's the mark. All right. The uh, uh, a physical mark. The device. Okay. The C-hip. It says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. So you're not going to buy and sell unless you have that karagma, that mark. No man may buy or sell unless he has this. All right. This is why society, once again, is moving to a cashless uh, uh, checklist society. OK, so we are super close. All right. As we continue to prophesy uh, uh, about this, um, this, uh, this prophecy here, man, you know, let's just jump down. All right. Every day is one step closer to the end, man. So it says. It says our cash and checks on the way out. 
It says cash and checks, the dominant forms of currencies for generations are now increasingly not welcome. OK, money is is beginning to become obsolete. And um, the lesson that I did before. Going into the um, how they were saying that it could be a particular narrative that's pushed saying that, um, you know, uh, physical cash is defiled with uh, with some type of virus, you know, with some type of disease. So they're going to have to take, you know, cash, physical cash from the uh, from circulation. And they're going to have to come with another method, another solution uh, in order to buy and sell. All right. So everything is right there on the table. All right. Perfect timing, if you will. You know. So it says like Camden, like Camden Yards, most major league baseball stadiums and many other professional sports arenas have gone cashless. All right. Just like your grocery stores. All right. Certain restaurants that are slowly rolling this thing out, getting people used to, you know, using your hand, using your Apple Pay, you know, uh, eventually as they're going to phase out the use of, of debit and credit cards and eventually to you get the um, to you get that device. You know, it says in March, the National Park Service was sued by three people when they couldn't use cash to enter some national parks. The agency announced in 2023 that dozens of its sites would no longer accept cash for entry because the U.S. Treasury had created policies to reduce the amount of cash and checks handled across the federal government. The lawsuit is ongoing. Right. So they're preparing everybody for this, man. You know, a cashless checklist society. Let's read some more. Right. So everything that's everything that's happening is being made plain. Right. So it says cash is not king. More businesses became cashless during the the CVIT uh, 19 demic, citing the need to protect their workers health by not requiring them to exchange paper money and coins with the public. Right. So that's the narrative right there. To protect their workers health. By not requiring them to exchange paper money in coins with the public, right? Because they're going to say that the uh, that the money is tainted. You know, they're going to use they're going to they're going to say that the money is the reason why whatever, you know, disease is being spread, you know, and they can actually run with that because we understand that that money is in circulation all around the planet Earth. Everybody touches money across the world. So most definitely, you know, uh, uh Physical cash is filthy, so they could definitely, you know, run with that narrative. It just it just works. You know, it says and said said bankrupt senior industry analyst Ted Rossman. But but some businesses were already moving in that direction, saying no cash policy were more efficient for operations. It just it just works better. You know, it says. Quote, speed and convenience tend to be the main explanations, especially with most stadiums that have gone cash, said Rossman. Rossman, businesses quote typically typically do it under the guise of oh, this is going to be faster for everybody. The staff is not going to have to count bills and coins, and you can just kind of speed, you can just kind of speed the line through, right? So it's just more efficient, as they're saying. You know, let's jump down. Let's read some more. Cash has its benefits. All right. Use of cash checks is declining. It says the use of cash and personal checks have dropped in recent years, while credit and debit card payments rose, according to the latest 24 Diary of Consumer Payment Choice put out yearly by the Federal Reserve Financial Services, Fed Cash Services. All right. And they go into the findings of the uh, polls and all of that. You know. And you can read the rest. So the point is. As we read the um, as we read the headline, okay, let's go back up. It's all about this, man. It's all about a cashless, checklist society. All right, so we know what's next, and this is what we're waiting on, and this is why we constantly prophesy about this, you know, particular a uh, prophecy here, because this is the main prophecy that has to come to pass. Before the destruction comes, you know. This is Zephaniah 1 and 12, and it reads, it says, And it should come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles 
and punish the men that have settled on their leaves. Right. Speaking about you false prophets, man. You know, as we see now amongst the circumcision, there's a lot of guys that uh that are that are compromised, that have sold out. And they're not really warning Jake properly. All right. They're not telling Jake the truth concerning this prophecy of Revelation chapter 13 verses uh, 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 16 to 17. You know, a lot of Jake's out there are settled on their leaves. You know, they, they they've taken the bag from Esau, you know, and they're uh, and they and they've trimmed the gospel, if you will. All right. So that all of that's going to be all of that's going to be required by Yahweh Shimon Shah in the time of his uh, of his visit, uh, visitation. Right. Zephaniah 1 and 12, and it should come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. That say in the heart, the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah will not do good, neither will he do evil, right? Because guys are comfortable. Guys are making a big bag, getting money, you know, getting some uh, worldly fame. So they're not concerned with the um, with the prophecies, with the uh, with the warning of the flock, if you will, you know, and that's going to be that's going to be uh, required by the Lord. You know, much blood is on their hands. Verse 13, he says, therefore, the good should become a booty in their houses, a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not but not inhabit them. They should plant vineyards, but not drink of the wine thereof. The great day of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, is near. It is near. It hasted greatly. Right. And you see how fast the prophecies are moving. All right. The day of the Lord, the, the destruction of Babylon, hasted greatly, man. The great day of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, is near. It is near. It hasted and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. It's going to be a terrible day. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers and the high towers going back to the uh, to the elites, you know, those that 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 control the world, that control this society. All right, because their time is up. And the prophets, you know, can be tied back to the uh to the trumpet that's that's uh, uh that's being raised up, the alarm, the warnings that are going forth. It says, And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as dung. The point. Zephaniah 1 and 18, it says, neither shall their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord, Jehovah Shemel Shai's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. So that destruction is going to be is going to be quick and fast. All right. But the point, it says, neither shall their gold, neither shall their silver nor the gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, right? Because, you know, this this current money system is getting ready to be cut off. All right. And when they and when they do this, people are going to be in the worst case scenario because there's a lot of our people that are not prepared, you know, for them to um to ultimately uh, do away with the money system. You know, people are not expecting this. A lot of our a lot of you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans and Hispanics are not aware of what's being prepared you know you're not aware of this digital transition that we are about to enter into man you see that so cash is going to be uh is going to be done away with pursuant to um ezekiel let's get that this is ezekiel 7 and uh i start at 15 ezekiel 7 to 15 it says the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within he that is in the field shall die of the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. And the Lord has all these things prepared for Babylon. But they that escape of them shall escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning everyone for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water. All right. Showing you the um, giving you a, a description of the uh, of the state of the people in that time. They, they shall also gird themselves with sackcloth and horror shall cover them and shame shall be, shall be upon all faces and baldness upon all their heads. Right. Going into the, um, you know, the mourning and the uh, uh, the destruction that's going to happen, man. People are going to be in a, in, a, in a terrible case. Great shame is going to cover many people because 
they weren't prepared for the judgment of the Lord. They weren't prepared for these things to happen. You know, they didn't repent. A lot of our people, many of our people are not going to repent. They're going to get caught up in the destruction, you know. Ezekiel 7 and 19, the point, they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed, right? That's the money, all right? Physical money, physical cash will be worthless in that time, you know, when they cut it off. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Hashim Shai. They should not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity, right? So when this happens, man, all right, majority of our people are going to be completely finished, all right. So the point is what? That you've been warned time and time again. So there is no excuse. All right. This uh this MOTB, this karagma is coming. All right. And it's 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 being pubbed, you know, mainstream. This is what they're talking about. This has been constantly in the news. So there is no excuse. There's no cloak for your sins out there to say that you didn't know that you weren't that you weren't prepared for this. All right. The Lord has allowed this word to be magnified, man. All right. Which is the point. But anyway. Some more news here. This came out today, September 7th. From the New York Post, it says animal sacrifices on the rise in Queens with chickens, pigs being tortured and twisted rituals. Right. And, and I did a lesson going into something similar before about how everybody's pretty much tapping in. To, to, to the left hand, witchcraft, sorcery, enchantments. This is how you know this is this further proves that we are at the end. All right. You know, there's been an uptick in animal sacrifices. You know, Jake is tapping into all types of shit, man. All right. Rich witchcraft, you know, uh, 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 what do you call uh, tarot cards, Ouija boards. All right. People are just losing it out here, man. You know, but these are signs of what of, of the decline of the of, of the coming destruction. You know, let's blow this up a little bit. And you know, this is Jake, right? It says here, animal sacrifices are surging in queens, chicken, pigs, and rats being tortured, mutilated, or killed in twisted religious rituals in Parkland, surrounded Jamaica Bay. The post has learned, right? This is Jake out there that's doing this. You know, a lot of you niggas is in voodoo. You know, you know, you get into the whole roots thing, uh, 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 you know, the Northern Kingdom, uh, uh, Santa, Santa Maria, Saint Death. You know, Jake is in, is, in, is in all types of wild shit, man. It says in a little over a month, at least nine wounded animals or carcasses have been discovered in the federally managed Spring Creek Park in Howard Beach and the Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge in Broad Channel, including live pigs Five live pigs with partially severed, severed ears. Creatures recovered from the revolting scene also include a near-dead baby rat tied up in a bag with chicken bones, a freshly de 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 how you say the word? decapitated chicken head, and a live hen in distress, and a dead dog with his neck snapped. <laughs> you see? And this is all Jake. You know, it says... It's continually getting worse. The animal sacrifices are happening more repeatedly, more times a week. Sloan Quealy, co-founder of the president of Zion's mission, Animal Rescue, told the Post. Right. So the point is that a, a many people are, are bugging out out here, man. Tapping into different spirits, mediums, things like that. All right. We ain't got to read the rest. You know, you, you see it here in the picture. You see it here in the article, man. So this place has to go, man. All right. All tying into the destruction. Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse 9, it says, When thou art coming to the land which the Lord, Yehovah Shemel Shah, thy power giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abomination of those nations. Verse 10, the point it says, There should not be a there should not be found among among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, Yehovah Shemel Shai, and because of these abominations, the Lord, Yehovah Shemel Shai, thy power, do have dried them out from before thee. And see, pretty much, you know, as I said before, you know, a lot of these niggas that's, that's into this type of stuff, are going to suffer, you know, very grievous deaths. 
All right. They're going to suffer the judgment of the Lord. But this is the mindset of people nowadays, man. People are into everything, man. All types of left hand activity. You know, Leviticus uh, uh, 20 in verse uh, 27, it says a man also or woman that have a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death. They should stone them with stones. Their blood should be upon them. Right, right. So the, eventually the Lord is going to get at Jake, man, that's tapping into all of these different mediums. All right. There's these different left hand forces, the witchcraft, the sorcery, the, the enchantments, you know, and this stuff is, is, is becoming more prevalent as we, you know, enter into these last, you know, these last days, these last seconds of this kingdom. You know, Isaiah 19. In verse three, it says, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to the them and to them that have familiar spirits. And to the wizards, right? Because this place is pretty much on the way out. All right, this is a uh, 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 this place is, is is failing. It's falling. All right, and it's happening from with from within. You know, so the, once again, this all ties to the destruction. All right, America, Babylon the Great is on its way out of there, man. All right, and I want to add another point too, because you can't make this stuff up. All right, because you know, here, you know, what I'm about to show you, this is what Esau wants the Israelite man to be. All right. Now, this um, this is some new Cinderella movie that's coming out, you know, and Cinderella was supposed to be a kid's movie. You know what I'm saying? But look how look what they're pushing, man. And it's always Jake, you know, in the forefront of something abominable. Right. So check this out. Can't make this up, man. This is it. Dresses by Ella. Here's a laugh. This girl fancies herself a businessman. <laughs> Cinderella, it's only my love for your father, rest his soul, that stands between you and a life on the street. I have to make a life for myself. We'll sell one of my signature dresses. Soon everyone will know my name. <sighs> <sighs> To make sure your nuptials are done properly, we shall hold a ball. You shall find a bride. Somebody to love. Cinderella, you don't need to go to the ball. Please, stepmother, I spent weeks making this dress. My future depends on it. Ooh, yes! I am your fabulous godmother. Finished. All right. You can't make this up. And when I saw Billy Porter in the, in the title, I already knew what time it was. Right. And that and that and the Lord is going the Lord has a, a very special judgment for this nigga here. All right. But they always like to use Jake as the, uh, you know, as the, the, the main the main character when it comes to any type of, um, you know, folly and wickedness, man. You can't make this up. But this is hey, this is what they push. They, this is what they want the Israelite man to be. Do you want to go to that ball and meet a bunch of rich people who will change your life? Yes, I was just crying and singing about it like two minutes ago. Then go, you shall! Oh, look at that. This is different. I okay, think Dad, you said you wanted to be a businesswoman. It's magic time. Come on, man. Got this nigga playing the, the, the fairy godmother. You can't make this up. This is why, once again, this is why this place is over with, man. All right? And it's always you, 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 you fucking niggas, man. All right, Jeremiah chapter 5. Can't make this up. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 26, it says, From among my people, for, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he, as he that set of snares. They set a trap and they, and they catch men. And see, and, 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 you know, Jake is wicked, man. You know, they use these, they, these, these, these sellout niggas to, to, to further push this devil's agenda. You know, all of this, 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 you know, sodomy, trans, transformism, madness that they've put in these, these, these TV shows, the music, the things they put in these, in these movies, you know, this agenda, man. And they're always going to use a bug out nigga to, to, to further that, that agenda, if you will, you know, you're setting these traps, these snares. It says, it says as a cage full of, as a cage, 
is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they become great and wax and rich. Right, yeah, because you got niggas, and hey, niggas will sell out quick to get that bag, man, to get that fame from Esau, man. You know? It says they are waxing fat, they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Yeah, Jake is wicked, man. Jake is beyond wicked. They judge not the cause, they call the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge, because there's no truth amongst Jake, man. All right? Jake will sell out Jake will sell out quick. All right? It says, Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord, Yahweh shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation? As this, this is why niggas gotta go, man. Bottom line, man. You know, this demon Billy Porter is just, man, super wicked. But the point, man, this is hey, this is the state of the Israelite man. This is what this is what Esau wants the Israelite man to represent. You know? Isaiah 3 and 8 it says, For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, to provoke the eyes of his glory. This is why this is why the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and Hispanic man is finished. You know, the show of the counting is due of witness against them. They declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto the soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. So the reward is set, man. Right. And when it comes to this sodomy and all of this BS, you know, they don't even hide it. It's being it's being pushed full throttle, man. You know, Esau is trying to, you know, he's pushing his agenda to, 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 to groom the kids, man, with his wickedness. Right. But they're always going to use Jake to push that uh that particular, you know, agenda, man. You know, but that's why, as I said, once again, you know, this a hey, this just all shows us the uh, how fast we're, we're uh, moving towards the destruction of Babylon, America, man. Right. So it's all in the air, man. You know, and I want to make more, one more point before I close it out. Here's another one in another um, quick news article here. Let's play this or a news video. Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. We begin at six o'clock with breaking news. A potential terrorist attack aimed at Jewish people living in New York City has been foiled. The Justice Department says the attack was planned for October 7th, which will mark one year since the Hamas attack on Israel. Investigative reporter Tim McNicholas joins us live in our newsroom. And Tim, some pretty harrowing allegations in that federal complaint. Yeah, Jessica, this 19 page complaint says a Pakistani citizen who lives in Canada attempted to travel to New York City to carry out a mass shooting at a Jewish center in Brooklyn, all in support of ISIS. The 20 year old was apprehended by federal officials near the Canadian border on September 4th. Federal officials say Mohammed Shazeb Khan began posting on social media about his support for ISIS back in November. They allege Khan distributed ISIS propaganda videos and pictures like the ones you see here. That's when two undercover officers began communicating with Khan. He then told the undercover officers about his plans, saying he was trying to create an offline cell of ISIS supporters who would carry out a coordinated assault by using AR-style assault rifles at Jewish Chabad's in Brooklyn. Khan also allegedly said New York is perfect to target Jewish people because of the large Jewish population. He also planned for October 7th because of the anniversary of the Hamas attack on Israel and also because it's just a few days before Yom Kippur. Right. So I wanted to say this. And when I saw that this uh, this news article here, you know, I was just thinking about the lesson that we did the other day. When you have, you know, these Israelites that are linking up with the NOI, the Nation of Islam. And we know, as the scriptures say, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know that these devils, they want to link us up with uh, with uh, radical um, Islamic extremism. You know, they want to tie the Israelites to Islam, you know. So that's why I was just thinking, man, you know, you got you got guys out there linking up with these these Muslims, these these is these Islam guys and you got. You know, Jake at the camp with guns on him and all types of shit. So, I mean, you really you, you really never know. You know what I'm saying? It's just a, a lot of weird things that are happening, you know. So that's kind of what I was thinking about, you know, when I saw this, you know, quick little article here, man. Because, uh, you know, we know Amalek is getting ready to paint himself as the victim. And they're getting ready to push more laws to, to, to come against us. The ones that are telling the truth, that are speaking out against them. So you just got to be prepared for anything, man. Anything can happen in these days, you know. So that's pretty much the point, man. It's just, you know, a lot, lots going on as usual. 
But all these things tie into the um, to the destruction of this place, man. You know, so I pray this quick lesson was edifying. We give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, and Shalom to the next one. Shalom.